as I heard Cal was going to mention, I don't know whether getting building above or below railroad is being worse to deal with. Is really I put county in there too. Um, again, the Department of Transportation will participate and cooperate with anything to help alleviate the flooding situation to that benefit of the state highway system. By law, I'm going to get a little bureaucratic. By law, I will not take the lead for a flood control problem. I can't. And so, thank you very much for the kind offer. <laughs> but we certainly want to participate. Uh, let me be a little bureaucratic for a minute. If we did the lead for a project, let's say I went ahead and just said, okay, I'm going to ignore all that stuff that says I can't do that. I'm just going to do it anyway. Then the Department of Transportation gets to be responsible for maintaining the system from beginning to end. And as you heard Mr. Pretty talk about, beginning to end is pretty much the ocean all the way up to where we stop our, our involvement. And that is why the policies and the legislative acts that have occurred don't let us do that. We've been statewide over the years in big trouble when we do that. We end up becoming more of a flood control agency than the highway department. And we are about transportation. And so to that degree, we will participate to make sure our transportation system is safe and reliable. And we have spent some money down there in the past to do what we can do without making things worse. Um, there was some mention about some sidewalk projects that we've done, and we're still looking to try and make those sidewalks even better. Um, there was some talk about some paving. We did discover, sadly, that our overhead jobs raised the surface of the pavement a little bit. We said that was wrong. We spent a considerable amount of money turning that pavement back down to the pre-overlay condition so that we maintain the least status quo. Um, those are the kinds of things that we do willingly as soon as we're, we're aware of the, of the situation. But uh, again, we very much like to participate in an overall solution of the problem. And participate is the opportunity. From just uh, my observation of the area in the last few days, I'm not sure that the existing infrastructure there being the culvert under the railroad track, the, uh, the, the pipe to the uh, drainage pond and that is, is capable of dealing with uh, what you might call a hundred year rain or something like that. I mean ultimately uh, nature is capable of uh, uh, besting most of our design efforts and uh, reasonable foresight on issues. However. Uh, we have observed that uh, clearing out that eucalyptus debris uh, from uh, the ditch on the railroad property uh, did very much ameliorate the situation and the intersection has been fairly clear uh, since that was uh, conducted. Is there uh, anything that either the county from the Department of Maintaining the County Roads or uh, Caltrans could possibly do to to see about uh, keeping that. Uh, and I understand that that's private property, and I understand that you don't necessarily have jurisdiction. But again, uh, if it, if it was a fire issue, OCSD might have uh, jurisdiction to ameliorate a fire condition. I'm wondering if there's any similar jurisdiction that Caltrans or the county might have to ameliorate a potential uh, road closing condition uh, by plugging off the drainage with the equilibrium. Um, as far as that goes, you know, with that kind of a, you know, what legal authority do we have? There is some very weak legal authority in the event of you know, imminent risk of life and property for the Department of Transportation to leave our right away and do some act. Um, that's extraordinary and extreme circumstance type of stuff, this type of a thing. Um, for example, if you're looking at the news, uh, you might see you know, some stuff down south of the Ventura County line, and you'll probably see that there's some Caltrans effort that might not be exactly in our right of way, but that's a general overall declared emergency and disaster. And then we participate in that degree. Um, as far as we can do in kind of the soft approach, um, through our adopt a highway program, we regularly pick up bags full of litter along the sides of the highway. If there were bags full of eucalyptus tree along eucalyptus leanings uh, along the side of the highway, we could pick those up. So that there at least would help save you know, the disposal cost of people. So if 
volunteer community, which is adopt the hybrid program to go and do that type of work, we can certainly pick them up. I would recommend that whoever does that get permission from the railroad that would be in the pocket, it would be, it would be working. I know the railroad does have some, some concerns from time to time with that, but we would be certainly happy to you know, pick up, uh, adopt the highway that is still be equal to seems that were left along the side of it. Um, does Caltrans have the authority to require the railroad to keep the culverts open? No, we have no legal authority over flood control to that degree. You don't um, flood out the highway because they have not kept their uh, residents. Yeah, we have. We're not a flood control agency. We, you know what? In fact, in my 25 plus years in the department, the most we've ever done is send a very sternly worded letter. Because we, we just can't cross over that, that legal authority, highways versus, <coughs> we, we comment, and I, and I, from our conversations with the railroad, um, I believe that they, they also, and again, I, it's hard for me to speak for an agency that I, I, I don't have, but I understand that the railroad, from our conversations with them, are willing to participate as well. I think that that's, that's the level of their, their, their involvement. Yeah, uh, I know that, that you know, you've got a, ditch that's used to drain water from areas that's running through your property, you can't just sort of close off that ditch. Uh, so somebody has to have the jurisdiction to make sure that that ditch stays open. <coughs> and so I would think that there has to be some agency somewhere that has a jurisdiction to require this, uh, uh, the maintenance of this pipe on the forever. I just don't know who it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, part, part of the, um, once the, uh, the straight culvert runs under the railroad track and ends up in the uh, vault un under the Povey property, and, and Ian uh, is here, uh, first of all, I appreciate you uh, taking the effort to clean out the eucalyptus. I understand that the eucalyptus trees are not on your property, uh, and so the source of that Debris and problem is is not a source associated with poverty. Um, can you can you speak to the issue perhaps of uh, keeping that vault and drain pipe as free as possible of uh, of the eucalyptus debris that flows through there on, onto your property or? My name is uh, Dan Sutton. I'm the plant manager for Cody. I'm uh, also in charge of operations for the cooling facility. Um, I do probably <coughs> four times a year send my maintenance crew into that vault or storm drain underneath the dock. We do clean that out thoroughly, we put all the debris out of there. Um, becomes a tough issue though that when I can clean that open box out and when we go about a foot into those drainage pipes and it's plugged up. I'm not going to send myself or an employee to a two-foot culvert to dig that stuff out of there. Um, I don't have the equipment. Um, what we've done here recently is um, we've opened our property up to those that have the equipment to go and clean that out, and I will continue to offer that. Uh, full access to keep that open, um, and I will continue sending myself and my maintenance crew into that uh, vault drain to clear what debris I can out. Um, we usually typically do it before the winter storm. Um, we did it before the first rainfall this year. Um, after the first rainfall came, we went back in and did it again. We probably pulled out just as much debris, if not more, after the first rain. Um, I did send my guys in after the lines were cleared last week to try to get everything we can out of there. So, um, Again, thank you for that. Uh, and I, again, I'll 